So the top 10 computer science schools, starting with number 10, the University of Texas at Austin. So why should you go here? Well, first of all, the career opportunities are incredible. A CS student said that they did one interview at Google, and a year later, they randomly called him up and offered him an internship, no questions asked. And other students say that when you start going to career fairs, big companies will literally hand out jobs to you. Another reason students like UTCS is the people. A lot of students tend to actually enjoy the the craft of computer science as opposed to just doing it because it's prestigious. You'll probably find yourself at UT's computer science lab randomly building things with other smart people just for the fun of it. And lastly, many students talk about the free food you get from companies nearly every single day. Imagine walking to class and just having pizza whenever you want it. So why shouldn't you go here? Well, some students complain about the class wait list. So you'll probably not be able to get all the classes you want on your first try. In addition, many students warned about the workload. There are some classes that you're going to take, like operating systems, that have taken students 12 hours a day of study. Now that doesn't seem to be the norm for everybody, but it's something to keep in mind. Overall, UT is a fun school with a great CS program and you should definitely check it out. And next up at number 9, we have Princeton University. So why should you go here? Well first of all, the name can't be beat. Although you can go get a CS degree at any school and probably be successful, having a name like Princeton on your resume just opens up a ton of doors. It's just a fact. This is also helpful if you decide CS isn't for you and you want to switch majors. You'll still have that Princeton name on your resume. The next reason students like CS here is the small size of the department, which means less internal competition and more of a chance to interact with students and professors. Which leads to my next point. Almost all students say that the focus on undergrads at Princeton is unmatched. At most schools, you'll be taught by graduate assistants, but at Princeton, they have dedicated faculty to teach your courses. And lastly, students love the campus atmosphere atmosphere of Princeton. It's in a pretty suburban area, so pretty much everyone's life is on campus. That means plenty of events, free food, and time to actually soak up the campus of Princeton. So then why shouldn't you go here? Well, the two main complaints from students were, one, Princeton's eating clubs, which are like co-ed dining halls and fraternities mixed together, and two, the weather at Princeton. But for all things for a college student to complain about, that's pretty good. And coming in at number eight, we have Georgia Tech in Atlanta. So why should you go here? Well, first of all, students love the career opportunities. Being in Atlanta, you're surrounded by tons of Fortune 500 companies like Coca-Cola, AT&T, and Home Depot. That means you'll have no trouble getting a job after college. Students also love the thread system at Georgia Tech, which are almost like many majors that you can take within computer science. So these include things like intelligence, media, and systems and architecture. Georgia Tech students also noted that the administration of the comp sci department was great. Advisors are really easy to talk to, and you can actually tell that the school cares about students. And lastly, everyone loved the opportunities that come along with being a CS major. So why wouldn't you want to go here? Well, like some of the other colleges, students complain that you'll get on wait lists for classes that you want. In addition, some students said that comp sci can be more focused on theory than actual coding. These are just a few things that you should keep in mind as you're applying. And next up at number seven, we have the University of Washington in Seattle. First of all, students love it here because of the career opportunities. With Seattle as your backyard, you have companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and Expedia just just a few miles away. I mean, come on, it's nice to know that your hard work is pretty much guaranteed to pay off with a high paying job after college. Students also love the research opportunities for UW CS programs. Some even said that you can get started freshman year, which is pretty rare. So if you want to be on the cutting edge of computer science, this could be your place. Also, TAs are known to be extra helpful here. Because it's such a big school, class sizes are going to be pretty large compared to the other schools on this list, but there are usually a ton of extra TAs who are willing to help Help you out. Some of the downsides that students said were because UW is a massive public school, you're probably not going to get that smaller school feel like you would at Princeton. Being in classes with 200 people can be intimidating, so make sure to keep this in mind. Other students complain about the rigor of CS courses, but pretty much any CS school is going to be tough. And now at number six, we have Cornell. Just like any Ivy, students love the name recognition of the school. Many students said it was extremely helpful having the name Cornell on their resume when applying to jobs. Don't underestimate the power of an Ivy League name. Another big perk was the project opportunities in upper division CS courses. If you really want hands-on experience building things that you'd actually do in real life, Cornell is a great place to do it. A lot of students told me that they felt more prepared than their friends at other colleges for both jobs and grad school applications. And also, students noted the great tech ecosystem at Cornell, with plenty of clubs like the Cornell Investment Group and the Cornell Venture Capital Club that allowed you to explore the business side of technology. 
As for the downsides, complaints were mainly around balancing school, sleep, and social life, but I feel like that's going to be at any CS program. Overall, most everyone had positive things to say about their time at Cornell. And coming in at number five, we have the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. Students love the hacking culture here. There's an annual hackathon called Hack Illinois, and plenty of other small hackathons throughout the year. Students loved how many opportunities there were for hands-on work like this. Another thing people liked were the professors. It seems like the professors here were a little more laid back and friendly than other schools. They also seem to be especially helpful in office hours and are willing to help out students who seek it out. And also students like the lifestyle that comes with going to a big state school. Many said that they had a great social life outside of school and met plenty of people in different majors. Having non-CS friends is going to make your college experience better. For complaints, many talked about the class sizes being very large, with 150 to 500 students per class. If you're one of those people who really need small classes, this might not be the place. So just keep these things in mind if you're going to apply. And coming in at number four, we have Cal Berkeley. One thing that can't be beat here is the location. You're right between San Francisco and Silicon Valley, which means startups and big tech companies right down the road and tons of job opportunities. Another thing students liked was that people were super open to making study groups and collaborating with each other. At some colleges I researched, students are known to be really competitive with each other. But at Cal Berkeley, students are known to be very friendly and approachable. Students also love the big school atmosphere of Berkeley. Getting to go to football games, being surrounded by thousands of other students. It's something you don't get at a lot of these other programs. Now, some students complain that tests can be so difficult to the point that you don't know if you passed or failed them. But once again, that's probably going to happen to you at any college. It definitely happened to me. And coming in at number three, we have Stanford. Nearly, nearly 30% of the student body majors in computer science. Now, the first thing every student talked about was how powerful the name of Stanford was. Someone at a company isn't going to get fired for hiring a Stanford CS grad. The name of Stanford alone is a compelling reason to attend the school. Second of all, not surprisingly, Stanford has an amazing entrepreneurship ecosystem. And many students told me that it's super easy to get connected to mentorship and potentially venture capital money by just being a Stanford CS student. And lastly, it's pretty well known that there's heavy grade inflation, which means you're probably going to pass your classes as long as you're willing to put in the effort. One drawback students noted was that classmates can sometimes feel competitive. But then other students told me that classmates were very open to collaborate. Overall, I think it would be tough not to accept Stanford if you were admitted there, and almost every CS major seems to have thought their degree was well worth it. And coming in at number two, we have MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Students love MIT because of the satisfaction you get from studying. Let me explain. Be prepared to work extremely hard. Every student told me that the workload is going to be a lot. But if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and put in the time, a degree from MIT can be extremely rewarding. Students also love the entrepreneurial focus at MIT. There's the MIT 100K competition where MIT students pitch their startup idea and can win $100,000 in funding. And there's all sorts of other accelerators and incubators that students can take advantage of. And of course, the name of MIT is hard to beat. As for some drawbacks, every student said that the workload can feel unbearable at times. MIT really does seem to be the most work out of any school on this list. So if you're looking for the easiest route to do CS, this might not be it. And finally, drum roll please, at number one we have Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh. Students love it here for the work hard, play hard mentality. CS is known to be an extremely rigorous program, but it seems like Carnegie Mellon students also like to unwind. So if you're worried you won't have a social life, do not fear. Students also particularly love the professors. It seems to me like Carnegie Mellon profs have an unwavering belief in their students and are really trying to teach real world practical things. Although the professors are demanding, almost every student told me that it was completely worth it. Some students did say that sports and school spirit aren't really big here. So if that's your thing, there are probably other schools on this list that have it better. So I want to be as helpful as possible. What video should I make next? I'm Jake with College Decider and I'll see you next time.